Welcome back then. This fight number three on the card and features a very useful Morris Forbes against the equally useful Michael Smythe. And sitting in with me at the moment is Al Hamilton. Al, you're from Brixton, you know all about these guys. Tell me about Morris Forbes. Well, I watched Morris Forbes in Jamaica um, a couple of years ago when he won the national championships and he looked very good then. He's here, five fights unbeaten, but he's taking on a man tonight with 13 fights who looks very, very big for me as a welterweight. It'll be very interesting. They call him the hidden secret. He's got to show something tonight. Great, and uh, we all know that uh, Morris Forbes is one hell of a body puncher, but let me tell you, out so is Michael yeah, yeah. Smythe. Well, we'll see how it goes. Sure thing. Over to you. Right, Michael Smythe, starting statically, very strong fighter, does like to work to the body, and uh, you told me earlier, Al, that uh, Morris created a bit of a sensation in the gym with a body shot. Yes, apparently he, he busted um, Owen Barclay, who's a light heavyweight's ribs. So if he can punch that hard, then it'll be interesting to see. But apparently Smad is apparently a good body puncher too. He certainly is, so, and uh, he's a tough man as well. Morris Falls, nice smooth mover, good boxer, and as we know, good puncher. But uh, Michael Smythe might not be that busy, but what he does is very effective. Yes, I mean, let's face it, he's from the same, same gym as Steve Robinson. You know, Die Gardner never brings them unless they're really ready to fight. So we're in for a treat, and I'll, I'll just sit back now with you, Steve, listen to you, and then just watch it. Well, I'll tell you something, Al. I think we're in for an absolute treat here, as you said. Michael Smythe, I'm beating in 13 professional contests, and I was there when he made his debut, you know, against Carl Brazier, and broke poor little Carl up with body punches. That was at the Royal Lancaster Hotel. Lovely left hook there from Smythe, yes, catching yes. Forbes on the chin. Yes. Morris yes. took it well, comes back behind the double jab. And another significant point, I think this is the first time that Morris is going eight rounds. And that'll be very, very significant. It also. certainly will, yes. And uh, I think you'll also find that uh, Michael Smythe, although he's more experienced, hasn't done that kind of distance himself. <laughs> and this is a real trade fight. Very, very interesting. Two unbeaten men. Something's going to give. Yeah, and, and if you look around the hall, you'll notice you have, you know, Ferris Frank Maloney is here. You've got people like Colin McMillan. I saw Gary Mason earlier. Kurt yeah, Lang just walked Lange past. Yep. So yes, I mean, you know, it's you know, people, it's a fighters' fight. Sure, yeah, great trade fight, and a good start, head to head. Neither man yet has managed to dominate this uh, first couple of minutes. Oh, that's, but, a, that's, uh, a, that's a good right hand again, by Smile. And we've yet to see evidence of either man banging to the body. Both yes, head yes. Yeah, there's a couple there now. No, I don't think this should be the tactics that, that, that Forbes should be using. Oh, and uh, he's gone over. Well, almost gone over from the left hook. Oh, and again, Smythe getting through the left hook. And it's worth mentioning that Michael Smythe holds a very good win over the very useful Chris Saunders. Saunders, of course, beat Kevin Lushing inside well, the distance. Yes, and, and they were touting Lushing as a possible British, British, British hope. After yep. beating Curtin Lang, so and that left hook a while ago. Well, I mean, I think for my money, it looks, it looks, it looks a hell of an uphill task now. Yes, it's a very well. It's a a very stiff task, I think, facing Morris Falls. But I don't think we should say he's buried at this point because he's a very skillful fighter. Well, I think it's fair to say, Alex Smythe probably took the first round. Yes. Definitely, um, he, he staggered Forbes, and I think that um, you know Forbes has got to change his tactics. I think he needs to to be a little bit more elusive. You know, physically, um, Smythe has the advantage. There's no ifs and buts about that. Yep. He's and a also, more seasoned pro with with eight more professional fights. Yes. So he needs to move around and keep out of trouble. Quite he right. He's been actually yes. boxing in higher class than Morris. Although Morris does possess a second round knockout of Dave Madge. Um, I think it's fair to say that uh, people like Des Robinson, Chris Saunders, 
Gordon Blair chinned in different, four different, rounds different, last time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's a different class. You know, and um, well, we'll see. But also, Al, I think it's also fair to say that Carly Cruz seems to have restrained these lads. And now it's time that this man's let off the leash and let him go, because he'll need to. Well, yes, there's, as you know, Steve, there's, there's no hiding place in, in, in them ropes. Too right, and, you too know, right. After a while, you just have to face up to whether you're good enough or not. Quite right. So, Al Hamilton, possibly shading in favour of uh, Michael Smythe at the ultimate outcome in this one. I'm not too sure at the moment. I think uh, Morris Forbes has got the talent. Can he produce it? Round two, scheduled for eight. An intriguing welterweight contest. Very much so. But on the evidence, you see, the punch that is causing the problem is a left hook. And on the evidence of, um, of what I see Smythe is doing, to me, his, all, every time that he puts a shot together, it, it, you can see that Forbes knows about it. And this is a very, very classy fight. Lovely left hook again there from Smythe. Oh, and oh. Forbes comes back. And this is a fascinating match, Ali. And I'll tell you this, you know, yes, this is going to be some classic because they're both looking for the openings. Oh. That's pure class, isn't it? Yeah, well, this is the kind of thing that makes people appreciate boxing, I think, you know, because, oh, good close work from Forbes. But Smythe is right back, you see? And every time, it's like... As I said before, he doesn't throw too many, but when he does, yes, they count, yes, don't yes, they? Yes, very much so. Oh. And of course, he has the strength to stand in front of a man like Morris. Y yes, and you see, and, and what you've got to understand is that Smythe has this ability to just, to just, every now and again, to just bob and weave, and by doing that, that left hook comes in again. I think that's a punch that's going to cause a problem today. Yes, I think you're absolutely right. And now, Smythe switching to the body. And uh, Morris Forbes follows that example. Takes a left hook to the chin. Different class, Al, I think. No, no. That is, to my mind, that is European standard. Oh, yeah. Certainly British Championship standard. Oh, and that will come back. Oh, well, oh. Something oh, comes back. Here now. Oh, yes, good work. This is my Morris Forbes. This is interesting. Punching punches coming in from him, having sustained a terrible barrage from Smythe. This is interesting. And it was worth coming to see this one. Oh, so. hey. Yeah, this is some fight. Oh, and his nose has got busted. Oh, no way for a fight. Yep. Great, great round there. And this I see you're applauding, Al, yes, and it's spontaneous, yes. is that you oh, can't yeah. help it's yourself. A hell of a fight. Great round, about yeah. even, I would say. Yeah. Dennis Andres has turned up. Hi, Dennis. Good to see you. Yeah, no, no, this is, this is, this is hell. This is a real, real good fight. One of the best I've seen for a long time. Very good domestic fight. And we've only had two rounds. Yeah. And you notice there, Al, at the end of that second round, that uh, Michael Smythe had a pretty nasty nosebleed. Yes, I, I didn't, re I didn't believe that Forbes could have come back after that hammering. But he has, and, and he, he, he now knows that he has the power to hurt him. So you know, this is where it becomes interesting. Pretty level round, eh? Yes, at level. So okay, they're even now. It's back to, it's back to round one, and it'll be interesting to see what happens from here. It's the man right. who wants it most. Certainly, round three then. Yeah. Two very determined gladiators out there tonight. Michael Smythe in the blue and white. Morris Forbes in the white and blue. And I tell you something, Al, I don't really think Morris should get involved in a head-to-head, -head, free swinging punch-up with Smythe. No, that's not what he should do. You know, he should, he should counter like he did um, at the end of the second round and get, get, get Smythe coming onto his punches. Plenty of speed. Yes, plenty of speed. 
bags of variety. And I tell you what, this is a real, real classy pairing and a very brave match, really. Yes. No, and I think you, you've got to give um, credit to Carla Carew because, you know, a lot of people would hide someone like Forbes. But to have taken on a man with eight fights more than you. But he's showing some, some steel here tonight. Some classy punches coming in from both of them. And, of course, Morris Forbes very heavily supported here. Michael Smiles brought no one except the oh, with him. That's a good right hand to the chin. By Smiles. But yes, Forbes took it well. And again. Excellent stuff. There's just something about the quality of Smiles work though that I like. You know, his punches have that bit more venom. It's very compact, yes, isn't it? Very yes. quick. Got, yes, you say. Threes and fours. Oh. And you can't relax for a second again, Smiles. No, no, no. Once you give him a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get well hurt. Yep. But Morris coming back again, but uh, suddenly two-handed from Smythe. Oh, no, no. Oh, look oh, at that's that's a good, no, it's, it's over. 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 We're number 14 then yeah. for Michael Smythe. He knew. Smythe knew he was in a fight. He Dramatic knew it. win yes, there for he, Michael Smythe. Yes, he knew he was in a fight. Yeah, but came a bit too early for, for, for Morris Forbes. This boy's two seasons for him. Like, it, like we said before. Yeah, just a little bit too much. Wonderful win. Wonderful win there for yeah. Michael Smythe in two rounds. Yeah, Sorry, three, three rounds. Three. Yeah. He deserved it. But, but Forbes can come again. I mean, you know, oh, there's sure. no disgrace in this, oh, sure. in this defeat. He can come again from this. And, uh, well, the gamble didn't quite pay off there for Carly, a man not known for his uh, mistakes, but uh, possibly, as you said, Al, just a wee bit too soon. No, uh, yes, and I think, I think when you look back on it, see, Smite is going over and applauding him, because Smite knows he was in a good fight. Yeah, sure thing. In, yeah. At the end of the second round, he knew he was hurt. He had serious problems. He overcome them. And the thing I like about this kid is, is that ability to, to go through the, the disastrous moments. That right hand that he finished it with was a piece of a right hand. Beautiful punch. Yeah. Beautiful shot. So, and I, I expect something. him to go a long, long way. And, and it's nice that this crowd, who are Forbes supporters, are yes, appreciating yes. Smythe's well, performance. That, well, this is what it's all about. And, and I think that when, when we can have... Yes, brilliant. I mean, I'm going to join him too. Yeah, yeah, I, yes, I agree I'm going to join him. Because I think that this is what we need to see. At the end of the day, it's a sport. Sure. You know, uh, and yes. It's well, and that may go on again in the future, Al, with yes. something quite Bigger. large. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? My, my, a European, a Commonwealth, who knows? You never know. No. Al, Steve, thank you very no, much. Steve, it's a pleasure working with you. Keep doing what you're doing, man, and all the best. Thank you, sir. I appreciate yeah. it. Pleasure. <coughs>